Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we will be looking at another feature of API 6 uh, that is capturing the matrix using the Prometheus plugin. Okay, in our last video we have seen how we can use the file logger plugin in order to capture the API request data. Okay, so today like we are going to see another uh, plugin that is Prometheus plugin in order to capture the API matrix. So let us get started. So this is the uh, guide uh, that I am going to refer for this video. So basically I am working on Fedora 37 workstation with docker, docker compose and curl installed on them. Okay. So as I said this is a continuation uh, to my previous video wherein we have already looked at the file logger plugin which is utilized to capture the API request data at the API gateway layer. Okay, so let us get started uh, with uh, this uh, video wherein we will be looking at uh, the Prometheus plugin in order to capture the API matrix. Okay, so as a first step, we need to ensure that the API services are up and running. Okay, so let me go into my shell. So let me clear my screen. So right now, we do not have any containers running. So I'm going to start the API 6 services using the Docker Compose file. Okay, so let me open my Docker Compose file. It is going to be the same file that I'm, I have used in my previous videos. So we are going to start up the API 6 dashboard, API 6 service and XCD. And if you notice, like we are volume mounting the configuration for dashboard, the API 6 service and XCD. The, the one thing uh, that we want to take a look at uh, before starting up the services is the APSX config. Okay, so let me open the APSX config. So by default, uh, it has some plugin attributes set for the Prometheus plugin. Okay, so as you can see, like the, the default export URI uh, wherein the Prometheus metrics are captured is APSX Prometheus metrics. Okay. But if you want to change this one, you can change it to any other uh, context wherein the matrix will be captured. Okay, so this is one thing uh, that I wanted to uh, show you before we start up the services. So let me close this file and start up the API 6 services. Okay. So now we have all the three uh, services up and running. Let me clear my screen and do docker ps and you can see like the three services are up and running. API 6, dashboard and etcd. Okay. So let us go into our next step that is launching the microservices plus based application. So this is a standard application that I am uh, using for uh, the API 6. Uh, art, uh, this, this for this article or video and here like uh, I'm going to uh, start up the flask based application so this is the same flask based application that we have seen previously so it is going to take the JSON as an input and return the same JSON as an output okay so let me start up this application Okay, so now we have our, our, our uh, Flask application up and running. Okay, you can validate it with a JSON document. So uh, that JSON document is the same JSON document that I have used previously. And you can see uh, send a curl request with the JSON data and you will get the same result as an output. Okay, so we have the same result as an output. Now let us go into our next step that is step 3 creating the upstream for the backend flask application so let us now try to create an upstream so basically upstream is an object that uh, refers to the backend uh, service uh, which uh, actually uh, listens on for the request okay so it basically routes the request to the backend uh, api through the upstream object okay so now we have created our upstream 
So let us go into our next step uh, that is creating route for the backend application. So here uh, is the change that we will be implementing uh, for the Prometheus matrix. Okay. So we are going to uh, enable the plugin uh, that is Prometheus plugin at the route level. Okay. And we are going to set the following attribute prefer underscore name as true. So it basically uh, what it does is uh, it captures the route name if at all it is set and it will provide that name in the Prometheus matrix that are getting captured. So if you see the two things that I have changed uh, here is I have provided a name for this route and in the plugin section that is related to the Prometheus like we have updated the added the attribute name that is prefer underscore name okay and the upstream id is same like which one we have which we have created earlier so let us now try to cre create this one so we are now creating an uh, route with the prometheus plugin enabled and prefer name attribute set that is true and it routes the request if all the above match to the upstream id bar okay and uh, and it also executes the following plugin that is prometheus and captures the api request matrix okay so now like we can try to test our services like let us try to hit our flask based application uh, through the api gateway multiple times So it captures some of the matrix. Now we can fetch the API matrix using the following per UR to the context, following context. So let me copy this one. So as you can see, this context is the same that has been configured in the API 6 config.yaml file. Okay. So now you can see the API uh, matrix have been captured and the thing that I wanted to mention over here is like instead of route id like we have the route name uh, being posted in the data that the api uh, the api matrix data that is captured okay so you see the route with route name is present so in case like you haven't set this prefer underscore name to true uh, like your route will be set to the route id instead of name okay so that is one thing that i wanted to mention in this video and these data like whatever metrics that you have captured so these can be further transported or sent to the prometheus server so basically we can set up a prometheus server uh, which will capture this metrics and uh, on once that metrics is captured like the, uh, assuming this, this this as a target the prometheus uh, server can be utilized to uh, do some analysis on these uh, metrics data and uh, generate some alerts or notification based on your requirement. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you uh, in this video uh, very quickly uh, about how we can utilize the Prometheus plugin and update the attributes uh, related to that plugin at the route level as per our requirement. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you all. Thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day.